Ramble. Thank you to DoorDash, Rosetta Stone, and BetterHelp for sponsoring this episode. I never sit on this side. It's so, it's totally it's different. different over here. Oh, <laughs> I feel different. I never sit this close <laughs> to you either, or or that feels, higher. That than feels us. right to me. Or a little <laughs> bit up higher. I know. I'm basically on my daddy's laps. <laughs> okay. Are you really that big? <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> Wow. I, I can't tell big. whether it's like a kind of forced perspective thing. No, or... I'm actually, yeah, a full two no, head the chair. Taller. The chair is bigger. <laughs> and our chair oh, is okay. deeper. Okay. It's an optical illusion, but I'm twice that size. <laughs> well, welcome it, it to really the tripod. Like we are here today. We're doing a little podcast. We're back in the studio because we have very special guests. They are known as Jolly together. <laughs> but it's Josh and Ollie. They eat food like I do, oh, yeah. but they're from the Queen's country. Oh, wow. Right? Now, now, the, ki- now the King's Haven't country. Haven't you heard? No, I mean. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I like to think of it. Awkward. I like to think of it. Bad okay. news for you, As hers. Yeah. It's yeah. hers. Yeah. It is a good place to start because we, we were talking before the podcast about British things that we don't understand. And I don't understand why I should care about the royal family. I mean, I don't think necessarily you should. Yeah, you really don't have to. Yeah. yeah. I feel like the queen was the nation's grandma, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, both my, well, my, my grandma's passed a while a while back. Uh-huh. And it felt like the queen was, you know, an mm. honorary grandma. She was just very nice. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she, she, she gave a nice speech once a year yeah, at Christmas. Christmas. That's right. Everyone uh, gathers around, watches mm-hmm. the speech. And she was Santa, right? The whole time? <laughs> she <laughs> was. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. People yeah. thought it was yeah. We're she not was delivering to... gifts. <laughs> Little did you know. Yeah. 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 Turns out she was Santa the whole time. Santa okay. And now your new time. dude, he's got weird thumbs. <laughs> uh, fingers, <laughs> dude. Fingers yeah. and thumbs. Wow. Yeah. Uh, no, no, go into detail. Well, he loves okay. gardening apparently. Who and doesn't? If you, and if you garden a lot in England in the cold, wet weather, yeah. Apparently your fingers. You get swell sausage, up over sausage time. fingers. Yeah, apparently what? it's a real thing. thing. It yeah. is a thing. That's yeah. what happened. Ah, yeah. he's got English garden fingers over there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, apparently that is your fingers uh, become little tubers. That's what yeah. happened. But I mean, yeah, we we met him actually. Yeah, <gasps> you did. We yeah. Did we, you guys eat together? No, but that that's also another. St- well, I can't okay, no, 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 sorry. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's a story for another time. Yeah. But, uh, we well, met him. We'll tell you off camera. I mean, right. nobody did let us suck his fingers. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. You slurped him up. Keith eats every finger of the royal family. <laughs> That'd be a good video. So the 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 king in particular fulfills a ceremonial function. So like all the ceremonial things that the president does, like pardoning a turkey and mm, very state important. dinners <laughs> yeah, yeah. and all of those things, that's what the monarch does. And so like things that the president does, which could be depoliticized, that's what the monarch does. It's quite useful, uh, right? Mm. Because then kind of in theory, everyone can get behind it. Whereas uh. in the US you have the president, like half the country hates them, yeah, and and yet he, he still has to do all the ceremonial stuff. That right. guy picked the wrong turkey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. he's got to burn the turkey. Yeah. 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 Yeah all of the various British things we understand. What could you explain to our audience who you are if they happen to not know? Uh, well, I, I'm, I'm Josh. I'm Ollie. And we are Jolly. That's, that, that's kind of our spiel. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we that's started, where the script ends. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I'm afraid. Uh, we started YouTube 10 years ago. Uh, funnily enough, started it on a different, with a different channel that we still got going on called, right. called Korean Englishman. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, speak, you, you, I speak Korean. You speak Korean. Yeah. Hit yeah. me. I hit you with what? Yeah, <laughs> <Just Yeah. Korean? laughs> just yeah. me, baby. Answer every question from here on out <laughs> in English and then Korean. 안녕하세요. 제 이름은 조시고요. 전 영국 남자고. Yeah, so I had a feeling it was going to be hot, and it is. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I'm into that. <laughs> so, okay, yeah. yeah. I, I have to imagine that work. it, it works on well, people. 
Um, I mean, <laughs> she's a sec. Are you asking if he if he's using? I'm asking if it charms people the way it charms get, me to get okay. discounts. Yeah. To get discounts. <laughs> discounts on okay. restaurant purchases. I am wondering if it ha- if he knows that it's charming as hell. Yeah. Do you know you're charming? I get a lot of people <laughs> telling me I sound like a woman when I speak Korean. Um, Can you speak it again, please? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll close my eyes. But, okay. <laughs> okay. But now I'm self-conscious about it, so I'm going to speak in a really deep. Hello, my name is Joshi. I'm a young man. I mean, it's hot that's every time. Yeah, I, I think that Korean. that's sort of, the, yeah, we're getting a very charmed vibe over here. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm I, getting I hot know. woman now. I get it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. I could see. I could now. see it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Wait, uh, why do you speak Korean? That is a good question. So I. Oh well, it's a bit of a long story. The the short of it is, I went to an international school growing up. Mm-hmm. It was full of Koreans. I was basically the only non-Korean in my whole high school, and uh, so when I went to uni, I decided to study Korean. Are we asking That's you one hundred and one questions like when people ask us like so when did you start trying stuff? <laughs> yeah, no, no, my bad. All right, well, no, no, it's it's fine. I mean, we get it in Korea a lot because we've been doing this for so long. I, like I said, that was the channel we started ten years ago, and so everyone's always like, why, why, why Korea? You know, of all places. Um, but yeah, for me, like culturally, Korea was a huge part of my life growing up. I kind of didn't really know who I was without the context of Korean influence. Mm. And so when I came back to the UK, I met Ollie first day of uni. And, uh, first day? How did you guys meet? Did you guys oh, bump into each too. other carrying too many books? Uh, <laughs> all the books fell everywhere. <laughs> you got his book in your book and you showed up at his first class. There were a lot less books involved, yeah, I think, than you're imagining. More beer uh, and less books. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we actually, we were both stood outside the front gate of our uni and Ollie came up to me. I was with some flatmates because I was living in, in the dorms. You okay with uh, me telling this story? No, I go Please. for it. <laughs> that was a no, but he's still... Okay, anyway. Uh, so he came up to me and was like, uh, Hi, I'm Ollie. Uh, I don't have any friends. <laughs> Why did you <laughs> Do you want to be friends? <laughs> That's uh, great. And straight away, and you know, I was like, oh, hi. Went to shake his hand. I was like, oh, I get, I have, I've got quite sweaty hands right now. So maybe we shouldn't shake hands. And then that was the intro. Fall in love, fell in love right then. Yeah. There you go. I, That's cha- I charmed the pants off him. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, well, literally. And I wasn't no, even I speaking Korean. Korean. That's true. Uh, <laughs> wow. And yeah. then, yeah, we became best mates. And sort of part of our friendship, interestingly, was I, I was like, okay, no one in the UK knows anything about Korea. So I need to like, I need to, I need to make some Korean friends. We just, you know, introduce Korean food to people. Uh, and sort of help them understand that part of of my life. Mm-hmm. And uh, with Ollie, he we he used to love making videos. Yeah. So we made we watched a lot of YouTube and we made a lot of fun videos just for our mates doing stupid stuff. I was also uh, the guinea pig, right? Because I knew nothing about Korea yes, as well. So we, the first. we became best mates and. Josh was like, "Oh, you don't know about this. You don't know about this. Oh my gosh, you know, like." And so every weekend, Josh would bring friends over, Korean friends over, and then we'd try different Korean foods and watch Korean movies and stuff. And uh, it wasn't it wasn't like everything that we did. We had like a wide circle of friends. We had yeah. other interests yeah. as well. <laughs> um, it wasn't like a comic people. book. No. Yeah. Yeah. One, <laughs> yeah. one interest per person. Yeah. yeah. But that, that was, was kind of where it all started. And then when we started a YouTube channel, that felt very natural. Cool. Making fun videos while also introducing Korea. And then, yeah, expanded from there, I guess. Yeah. So YouTube's the only job you guys have had. That's the story. Uh, mm. No. We didn't do it straight out of uni. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. We were actually lucky in that way, I'd say, mm. because we, we graduated in 2010. Yeah. I, and it was hard getting a job in 2010. <laughs> it, I don't know what you remember. It was hard year two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah. so you, Josh went and worked in a language school. Mm-hmm. I started a charity in East London, like a homeless shelter. And we were oh, doing- Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> yeah, and, and we were doing that for like four years, about four years. And yeah. uh, four years in, we were both broke and <laughs> pretty tired of the jobs that we've been doing. And, um, and the charity had like grown and there was staff and I was like in a much more kind of like 
management position, which more, didn't, more admin. S- didn't suit my skills and it wasn't why I got into it really. Yeah. And, um, and so we were like, oh, we should start something together. What can we do together? Yeah. And we were like, wait. You speak Korean. <laughs> and, People seem to get surprised yeah. when you speak Korean. Yeah. <laughs> you sound you're, like a beautiful Korean woman. Can we yeah. Leverage that? <laughs> exactly. <Okay. Yes>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we just we bought a pot of kimchi. Yeah. In a Asian supermarket. Yeah. And we went around Camden, which is like a kind of, I guess, what is it? It's like a yeah. friendly area. Yeah. Busy London. part of London. Busy part of London. Went around with kimchi, just giving it to people on the street, and it, this was like what, 10 years ago, and many people had no idea what... what the heck we were doing. Yeah. yeah wow. We had suspicious. to cut a lot of, like, semi-racist stuff <laughs> out <laughs> yeah, so of that video. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But, um, and then yeah. the crazy thing was, we did that, we put it online, and within a day, we had, like, 200 views, like, most of which was my mom. Yeah. And... <laughs> refreshing the page over and then, mm-hmm, exactly. And then a friend of ours posted it to the Korean version of Reddit, and it kind of went viral blew up and then yeah. like the next day it was profiled in a broadsheet newspaper in in korea oh wow and within within a day we had like thirty thousand subs yeah. wow and wow. within within a couple of months First we were like video. hundred thousand so we, we had hundred thousand views i remember within like two or three days yeah wow and then so you we we, we weren't we're not the story of like grinding for years and years and years and then just mm. like slowly building an audience it it happened really fast and and we were still, you know, I was still running night shelters. Josh was still working full time. I was you actually do. doing a master's degree at the time. Part time, yeah. And <laughs> on top of everything. And else. then suddenly we had this YouTube channel, and we, it felt like we'd won the lottery. But we also ha- were so overloaded, and it took yeah. about a year before we were able to like quit our jobs and wow. and go yeah. full time. I mean, it's YouTube. cool. You went viral in the traditional way we all used to say that, which mm-hmm. was it was rare to do it. Yeah. But now mm-hmm. there's social media apps that make it way easier yeah, to yeah, yeah. have something that gets seen by millions of people really quickly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. But you did it sort of that dawn of the viral age because Zach and I have been doing YouTube also for about 10 years. Mm. and But especially when the first thing you make hits a certain, you know, subgenre mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. really works, mm. it's like that is the truly like going viral. That's yeah, like yeah. Chewbacca mom. Right, the Chewbacca <laughs> mom. Oh, yeah. It's just something like that wasn't supposed to be successful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was supposed to be a thing that this. Yeah. That I mean, hers is the most ridiculous because she just did it for her friends. For it was funny. <laughs> yeah. But yours is like I want to make a piece of content that does resonate with you, mm. and but it was probably not meant to be seen by more than your friends still. Yeah. 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 Exactly. And now you did it, but it hit. You know, it got into Korean media, and they were like, "Hey, look, someone else appreciating what we do," which. Yeah. From our work at BuzzFeed, a lot of it was like taste tests of other cultures because yeah. people do have this curiosity of what do people think of our culture, just as we started this podcast with explain the royal family. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, like there's an intrigue into other what is very familiar to other people but foreign to you. So there's like some that parallels is, certainly in, yeah. in some of our early videos. I mean, so much of the stuff that we did when we were starting out was just trying foods that we didn't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's always fun. Yeah. 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 Oh, we still right. do it. I mean, it's great. Yeah, yeah. that's... Yeah pretty much what we do as well. <laughs> I mean, that's one of the things that we've talked about a lot in terms mm. of cultural exchange. You, you know, you can speak a different language, but your taste buds generally speak the same language. Mm-hmm. You know, like you can, there can be almost no communication, but you sit down with a meal and you try the same thing and appreciate that. You immediately form a connection. Mm. And I think that's something that's we've discovered over the years. It's just a really, really easy way of connecting with people. Mm. And uh, yeah, fun way to make content. Yeah. How would sure. you say your content has changed as like you started and you're just friends that are doing this one video that's like you eating kimchi and moving around, you know, the campus? How would you say over the last 10 years your content has changed as you've like legitimized your business and stuff like that? Well, it, it certainly was an illegitimate business at the beginning. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um. Tis the season to skip the indoor rush when the holidays knock answer with DoorDash. Get holiday groceries and gifts delivered fast and enjoy everything you need for hosting and toasting. Make DoorDash your go-to for getting holiday gifts and ingredients right when you need them. Look, I know you're busy. You can skip the trip to the store with fast delivery so you can stock up on holiday groceries and home goods. 
Whether it's same-day delivery of goods, groceries, or those last-minute party essentials, DoorDash has got you covered. They've got thousands of grocery and retail stores available nationwide. You're going to find whatever you need when you need them. And as a Dash Pass member, you can enjoy exclusive offers and perks all season long on stocking stuffers, decor, groceries, meals, and more. You also get a $0 delivery fee and reduced service fees on eligible orders, too. Woo! Get everything you need for the holidays at your door with DoorDash. Use code TRYHOLIDAY to get 50% off up to $10 value when you spend $15 or more at convenience grocery or select retail stores on DoorDash. Terms apply. This episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. You know, it's the holiday season, and while you're thinking about giving gifts to all your friends and family, why not think about a gift for yourself and not a physical thing, but something that actually help you mentally or emotionally or just in general deal with your stresses. And I'm talking about therapy, and I'm talking about better help. Therapy is something that is really good, and it doesn't have to be just if you're going through something really life-changing. Obviously, if you are going through something life-changing, I think therapy is a great way to help deal with that. But even small things, there's small stresses in life. And also, just talking through your day, you can find to be really helpful to your mental health. And if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. And you can call a therapist. You can text with All you do is fill out a form asking you some questions. It'll match you with a therapist they think is perfect for you. If you find out that therapist isn't perfect for you, you can switch at any time. It's really easy. It's not like traditional therapy where you're waiting in a waiting room. And in the season of giving, give yourself what you need with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash tripod today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash tripod. Um, It's been a wild ride. I mean... Yeah, we were really lucky uh, in that we had like a lot of, it felt like the kind of evolution of our channel felt just really natural Mm -hmm. uh, for a long time. So we started, you know, me introducing Korean food to random people and then doing it to our our friends and family. And uh, then like we opened a PO box and a bunch of our fans sent us stuff. So one of the first things that we got a bunch of in the boxes were these brand new brand of Korean fire noodles. And so then we oh, gave yeah. those right. to our friends. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That <laughs> blew up, went mm-hmm. super viral. And then now, I mean, you can't even find our original video. If you search it in right. there, yeah, you've got yeah. like Matt Stoney with like 100 million views uh-huh. eating an <laughs> absurd number He's, of uh, those. I don't know how he does it. It's crazy. Yeah. And, uh, and then from there, it was like, okay, well, I guess we need to get more Korean foods and introduce those and like reacts to our friends. And then sort of people come to know our friendship group and some of those people became characters almost in like a content universe we made so then we were like oh, what are, what about if we bring them to korea and do like a whole series of content of like traveling around and then that worked and then we got to film with yeah, movie stars coming to korea wanting to promote their films and then suddenly you know i'm sat in a room cooking korean barbecue for david beckham like <gasps> what on earth Amazing. is happening. Insane. Uh, and standing in Buckingham Palace ask, asking if the king likes Korean food. Like, I mean, it's <laughs> yeah. really wild, weird. right? Really weird. Uh, it would not surprise me if we just woke up. At, it was all a dream. It was all a dream. Yeah, it was yeah. all a dream. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's really weird. I mean, you wanted to ask about David, David Beckham? Beckham? Yeah, I also would like oh. to know. Yeah. Is he like cool? He, Did he smell good? That's I, you know, oh. I also am always curious. I want to know what he smells like. Did he have a soccer ball? Uh, a, foot, <laughs> a, a, a foot, foot, a football. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's quite all right. Uh, David Beckham is amazing. David Beckham was a. Yeah. And he smells and like. He was a gent. Um, I didn't get a, a I whiff. I think like he wears cologne. I don't know why. But Probably wears t shirts. Uh, yeah. he, he looks like he wears cologne. He was. Yeah. Okay, he I'm just going like to start throwing out words. He's a fine specimen yeah. of, of humanity. <laughs> is he tall? He was. Um, hmm, like six Or is he foot? short? He must be a, around No, six he's foot. not sure. Okay. I'll, like throw out, I'll throw out smells. High. You say yay or nay. Okay. Sandalwood. Okay. Are you getting it? very are we specific? In the city smell? To smell him and I just. I really it. want yeah. to give you an answer, leather. But I just <laughs> talk to Zach for a second. Hey Zach, you're harassing the but guys. I also don't know how. Yeah. Uh, I mean, so Musk. <laughs> was he funny? He. He was a gent. He was a gent. I think what struck me was like. 
a lot of the like actors we filmed with, right? They're, they're mm. professionals. They're, yeah. You know, they're used to having a lot mm. of attention, a lot of cameras pointed at them, and they're used to being the center of attention, and, and they carry that with like professionalism. Uh, they carry it well. They're funny. They switch it on. They switch it on. Beckham, when he came in, I was, I mean, obviously we were, we were terrified. He's like childhood hero. Like, of course. Um, you and- don't understand. In the UK as well, like however big he is here, it's like next level. It's yeah. like yeah, yeah. the king, that. David Beckham. Yeah. Like that's literally yeah. it. Wow. Like yeah. he is like, when he got sent off in the World Cup, I cried. <gasps> I, I cried. I was probably what, one of the, I, your I first was, memories what, of crying, I bet. I cried. And then yeah. two years later in the game against Greece when we qualified. He scored the, the winning goal. He scored the winning goal. I cried. Yeah. A- again. It matters. Like yeah. formative yeah. memories of our yeah. childhood. He's sort yeah. of like, Jesus to you <laughs> in a lot of ways. In a lot do, you, of ways. do you guys have Jesus in the UK? We yeah. do. Is that we do. There okay. too? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Is he yeah. there too cool? That's yeah. Sick. We haven't we haven't met him yet. <laughs> you, you, you guys <laughs> made him kimchi. Yeah. 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 Love kimchi actually. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah. Anyway, he was he was very down to earth. I mean, it, he was much less like when you walked into the room. It was like you could tell he's a little bit self conscious of all the cameras and like mm-hmm. the people in the room. He wasn't there to like perform. But what struck me instantly, he was he was he was really into the food. Like he's a major foodie. Yeah. So he saw all the barbecue and immediately he was like, Oh, this looks this looks really good. Are we, are we doing this? And I'm like, we have a really limited time. I'm like, okay, I'll just put one piece of meat for us each on the grill and like <laughs> you can try that and then we'll see if I can do another one. And he's like, uh, can you please turn the heat up, put more on? <gasps> like getting this barbecue party going. Oh and, wow. And the run up to this, I don't know whether we can say it, we probably can say this. He was supposed to meet a K pop group that will go unnamed. Mm-hmm. And they were late. And he'd come all the way to Korea. Oh BTS my god. BTS was tardy. He no, it wasn't BTS. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you guys heard it here first. And then, whoever it was. And then they were late. Uh-huh. And he. BTS said BTW, we're not and they showing were late. up. So, so his assistant comes in and it's like, okay, David's running behind sh- schedule. I'm not sure he's in a great mood. Yeah. Because he's, he's just a- he's just basically been stood up. He's already eaten. He's so already eaten. Probably won't eat he's not going to be up eating. And we sat there with this barbecue <laughs> table and all this meat. And we're, we've been told we'd have an hour. And they're like, you probably got 15 minutes. <gasps> right? 15? So then. Wow, and tripod oh, yeah, exclusive. And then they go, David oh, and Beckham by the way, stood up by no crew. Pink. <laughs> they say, no crew. Ollie, you can stay. And one other person, everyone else out. Right? And this is like two minutes before he arrives, maybe. Jesus. And we were like, crap, 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 crap. Yeah. And then he comes in. And he sees he sees the food, and you, his whole demeanor changes. In the end, we filmed with him for an hour. Hell yeah, <gasps> yeah, it was great. So and, great. And he just kept wanting to put more food on. You're totally right about him. It's not a learned charm. He's just mm. naturally mm. charming mm, yeah. and uh, engaging. Something we've met a fair few sports like sports people like Lewis Hamilton and Peyton you know, Manning. And not no. yet, not yet. Not yet. That's next on the Is list. Is he on the list? I don't know. The wish He's list. He's an NFL player. He's our mm-hmm. foot. Ball favorite. <laughs> okay, isn't that okay. Tom Brady? You know? Yeah, he's a big one too. Okay. Yeah. Peyton Manning was yeah. was a, he's 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 a beloved character right. of he's American. A big, he's a big football man. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. But we also love him. He's he's very charming and talented yeah. in other ways too. That's why we we're very endeared Got to him. It. He's good in commercials. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's like he's he is. Okay. He kills but, it. He, <laughs> he kills it. He kills it every time. Something with we've noticed with sports people is if they. If they've been playing sport, mm. they, they've typically been playing sport their whole lives from a very, very young age. And so they have this kind of really charming childlike nature to them that, that you know, they like all they know. All they know is sport, mm, right? right yeah. And so you sit down with food with them and they're like, oh, like, show me anything. There's, <laughs> yeah. no, there's, no, there's no need for David Beckham to, to appear like an expert, anything, because he's the wow. best in the mm-hmm. world at football, right. right? Yeah, right. So, Yeah. It was great. And we got a chance to film with him again this year, actually. Mm-hmm. And he immediately was like, oh, like, so thank you so much for coming again. This is really good. He was <laughs> so yeah. up for it and super friendly. You're friends with David Beckham. And I was like, this is so crazy. So do you have his <laughs> phone no, 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 no. Mostly DMs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Signal, email. <laughs> He's a Discord guy. <laughs> uh, you like <laughs> He's, you imagine? He's on Discord. He sends you guys memes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you've, you've come to LA periodically to shoot a bunch of, basically, you guys trying American stuff now as yep. well. And oh. that's more on the Jolly channel than the Korean exactly, Englishman, which yeah. is, has a, a variety of 
other cast now too. You have like British high schoolers doing stuff and that yes. kind of thing. Um, when you come out here, what has been your favorite fast food that you've had in America? What do you think as, as Brits, we are really crushing in the fast food market? I mean, everything. Yeah. Like it's on a different level out here. In the UK, we've got KFC, Burger King, McDonald's, and then it more or less stops there. Like, I mean, there, there's some American imports. There are some American imports, like Five Guys, not Shake the same. Shack, but it's not. It's just not on the same level here. Mm, no. It's crazy. That's because you guys have stricter food uh, <laughs> health requirements. It's mostly microplastics here. <laughs> it's so good. The plastics here are out of yeah, control. Yeah, they're really oh, delicious. We they will taste take oil so from every good. country because we can do some good stuff with it. Okay. <laughs> okay. We don't have bangers or mash. No, oh, no. but the fast food does bang. Yeah, yeah. And we have mashed potatoes. What was an item you had uh, the, on this trip specifically you really liked, or a restaurant that you just were like that was better than I thought it was going to be? Well, we had Easy Street Burgers last night, and that was that was crazy good. Smash they, burgers in smash general. Burgers? Smash burgers, smash yeah. burgers. Yeah. Love smash burgers. Unbelievably yeah. good. good. Turns out you just press the whole dang patty down, you get better crisp. Yeah, 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 right around the edges. Uh-huh. Who else? Am hey, I Zach? right, man? That was really well said. Am I right? That was really smart. That was really smart. Am I right? That was smart to say. Do you guys, do you guys say in it? Um, uh, not, that's one of, that, on not, occasion. Not, my top two favorite British slang, saying in it to everything. Yeah, yeah. they don't also, do that, though. They just said, go ahead. Yeah, well, <laughs> and maybe number two is when you just enter a conversation by going, all right. All right? Yeah, we say that all the time. Yeah. In it, can I? All right? right? All right. Like, right. Hello. Yeah, it's, instead of a hello, it's just all right. All right. So all right. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when you are passing someone that you know. All right. All right. And that's oh, all cool. you need. Interesting. Doesn't that uh-huh. just feel good? Can you do an right. American accent? Oh, oh no. Really? <laughs> we could try. Because Rainy can yeah. do a really good British accent. Well, She's did. been practicing all day. <laughs> oh, here, here Okay. <laughs> we'll show you ours if you show you. <laughs> 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 No, I'm terrible. An American accent. Ooh, Give us one. That was it. That was it. That was it. Oh, that was good. Yeah. That was it. A lot of R's, I feel like. Whenever I hear uh, oh, English people do uh, impressions of Americans, it's usually a lot of R's. R's? Yeah, we're really. <laughs> oh, my God. Hi, guys. How oh, are you guys? <laughs> or like a Southern. Sometimes they'll do a Southern accent. Southern like, oh, should yeah. be easier for you because it's. Hey, y'all. It's derivative of, of English. <laughs> that's, that's what we think of. That's really that's good. That's wrong. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Come on back. Oh, my gosh. Bless your heart, Ooh, as they yeah. say, yeah. right? Yeah. Really good. Yeah. I can't believe we're doing this already. That sounds good. <laughs> we're, we're already scraping the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes. Hey, welcome to the tripod. <laughs> <laughs> I asked you what your favorite fast food was. You said all of them. So you know what? Like, we are now. So I think my favorite thing that we had on this trip so far was we we did a video of going to Trader Joe's for the first time. <gasps> wow. Oh, oh yes. You, now was, you're speaking my language. That was, <laughs> yes. Yes. That was no. Fantastic. Did you try the produce though? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of it's we went all around. We literally we had an entire, entire cart. cart. Spent, I don't know, what was it 150 bucks? Yeah. At Trader Joe's and then yeah. just ate it all in the car park. Throw on some two buck chuck Fantastic. on top of that. Fantastic. Two buck chuck? They've wine. got a wine that used to be $2. And I think uh, now it's probably three. Inflation. Inflation. Like four, <laughs> four to but six. it was a two buck chuck and the idea was like, it's wine. For $2, yeah. which is <laughs> yeah, not yeah. really that good of a sell. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> because it's like, that's not just a We got some it. watermelon yeah. wine there. Yeah. You had what? Yeah, watermelon wine? I tried that. Yeah. Was it good? Wine. Was it sweet? We haven't actually tried we it yet. Yeah, we need to try that. Go yeah. get it! Yeah. <laughs> it's, <laughs> yeah. it's in my yeah. luggage, actually. I really wanted to try it, but it, we were in the car park, and I was like, I don't know if this is illegal. Oh, it's yeah. Not. You're drinking so, in your car? Yeah, we Definitely didn't, not. We didn't yeah. do that. Yeah. 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 If you're in a limo, though, you can get away with it. Oh, I'm okay. drinking in the back of the limo. So, okay. Yeah, Trader Joe's, by the way. Do you have any other autumnal snacks? What are we talking? Pumpkin cheesecake loaf or... Oh, <laughs> pumpkin spice potato chip. Pumpkin popcorn. Yeah, they do. So, sometimes oh. they sort of randomize the snacks. <laughs> we had, we had pumpkin stuffing, popcorn. stuffing, stuffing flavored popcorn. Very good. Oh, very good. Stuffing that was flavored good. popcorn. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's the dips, great. though. The dips Spinach are great. Spinach and kale and like buffalo the chicken. chicken. Yeah, with buffalo real chip. chicken. So yeah. weird. It's what? like mulch chicken, but it's mulched. good. Mulch yeah. is a great term yeah. for food. Yeah, <laughs> it's mulched. Shouldn't be good, but it was great. You couldn't do the microwave then. 
if you were no, in your we car because no. they've got some amazing frozen. Is, I heard yeah. the Shaolong yeah. Bao is to die yeah. for. It is. Yeah, the Shaolong. Okay. Two dumplings are pretty good. I'll say though, if you microwave them like they recommend, it's not as good. If you put them in a bamboo steamer, they're pretty great. Oh, wow, mm-hmm. fancy. Yeah, no, I'll be like this. Yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> 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 Keith knows what I'm booking up. Okay. Zach, suck it. Okay. But <laughs> um, no, the dumplings in general I find are actually pretty decent. Yeah, they're good. And, um, that's what we I have. think next time we should just bring a microwave from the UK. Yeah, set it up in the car. In the parking lot. Yeah, exactly. You got to bring it from the UK. Our microwaves don't hit the same. (laughs) (laughs) The UK ones have that good, good. Next time you're here, you're more than welcome to grab stuff from Trader Joe's and come here and use our microwave. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. That's fine. That barely works, by the way. Have you guys figured out how to work the microwave? The microwave's trash. It's a little bit of a puzzle. He wasn't joking. We went for an aesthetic microwave Okay, it's not ideal. Maybe we'll just bring one. We'll bring one for the UK for you. I would bring one. <laughs> I would grab one from the Costco. And, uh, yeah. But the, um, the produce is notoriously bad from Trader Joe's, right? That's what you were bringing? Yeah. Up? I think it, it's serviceable, it's but it's not as good as most other places. Is that like produce vegetables? Produce mean like fresh stuff? Fruit, fruit and vegetables. Oh, yeah. We fruit, skipped yeah. on yeah, all yeah, that. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 You didn't get raw chicken to eat in the car? <laughs> no, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. Yeah, That's good. Say, That's only time. time. Yeah. They're marinated uh, shawarma chicken thighs are pretty fucking good. Ooh. You guys are making me hungry at this point. Yeah, it's got a real like cult following. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Like we we were in a a shop before then, and we just mentioned that the register. Oh, we're going to Trader Joe's. Later. I mean, they asked, and which the lady's is like, like experience "Oh my god, you've never been to Trader Joe's?" And she's like, "Everyone <laughs> who comes in, <laughs> everyone who comes in, she's like, I'm gonna write you an email." And then she's like, "What should they try?" And she gets like from everyone in the whole shop a yeah. recommendation from Trader Joe's and sent me an email wow, with the whole that list. Actually happened. Yeah. That's because you guys are charming and have great accents. They don't do that to me. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> they are not emailing me everything I should get. It was yeah, great. Miles says, I'm going to Trader Joe's later. And they say, Sir, this is an elementary school. Please leave. <laughs> Please get out of here. Please leave. But I think the ambiance of it is really special as well. It's a horny you place to be. That? Yeah, it's a horny place to be. Oh, ambiance. I was just thinking, like, it's just cool. Like, I go in, I'm Happy. Yeah. Immediately yeah. serotonin. That's, that's really? the Aloha yeah. shirts at checkout. Mm-hmm. I think oh, that yeah. Trader okay. Joe's, they're not there to just sell you food. They're there to sell you friendship. Okay. Trader <laughs> Joe's stresses me out. And trade really? with us. It's small. Was, it's packed with people. Small. Um, like, it's small. What it's are you talking massive. about? It's flipping huge. <laughs> this guy doesn't know what London's like. <laughs> <laughs> you think Trader Bruv, Joe's Bruv, is you need to huge? come to London. We'll take you to a Tesco Metro. Oh, do you yeah. Tesco little, Express. That little <laughs> subtle bruv he just threw in. Okay. I liked bro. A, I liked what you did there with bro. I, I, do, I did yeah. like being called that. Was that all right? <laughs> yeah. It's really okay. That's yeah, right. more than all right. Yes, we liked it. But okay. it's call us other things. Um, <laughs> no, but Trader, Trader Joe's by me is very, very narrow, and it's always packed. So it's like really yeah. hard to navigate. And there's a very, like most grocery stores, you can kind of go willy-nilly in any order you want. In Trader uh-huh. Joe's, you feel like if you don't go with the yeah, flow yeah. of the river, mm-hmm. you are a piece of Shit. You need wow. to know what you're doing. You need to yeah. know what, when you're in there, you got to go. If you Willy have to turn around, nilly. you need yeah. to loop the store and start over. Because oh. if you forgot bananas, don't Too try bad. to go against the grain to get your bananas. You go oh. at the end of your shopping trip and go get the bananas. Yeah, there's a little. There's a, there's you're going to struggle in England yeah. in supermarkets. It's, it's like very properly. For us. Yeah. yeah. Although we did go to Costco today and I. Yeah, it was Costco's the real that's a big, warehouse. That's a warehouse. That's yeah. not normal. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's big even for us. Yeah. Did you go to the IKEA here? Uh, no. no. We have the biggest one in North America, you know. Ooh, wow. So we got next, bragging. Next Surely time. that's the biggest <laughs> in the world. We got the biggest like, one in North America. It must be. It's yeah. not the biggest in the world. Oh, okay. okay. No the, biggie. I think there's yeah. another big one. <laughs> okay. so, and it's right around the corner, so. Okay. If okay. you ever are back in town then. Well, now that you've had Trader Joe's, yeah. uh, yes. are you done eating on this trip or do you have other places that you're excited to, to go get well, into? Well, I think we're going to Roscoe's after this we with have Keith. one more stop. Oh, yeah. They have one more stop and I'm going with them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, last time they were here, we had Popeye's because yeah. you never had that. And now right. they so they hit good. me up saying they were coming into town. And I was like, oh, I don't know, but I might be available. And then they threw out Roscoe's. I'm like, oh, yeah, great. Perfect. <laughs> I'll, I am available. available. <laughs> I'll be available. I'll clear <laughs> the schedule. Out, I'm available. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, my I rarely, I used to get Roscoe's fairly often because when we worked at BuzzFeed, there was, it was down right the street. Right around the corner. Yeah. So okay. I would go for lunch all the time. And the crazy thing about Roscoe's and the one we're going to yeah. Always 30 people outside. Huh? But I always get sad immediately. Oh. And it's not because I'm famous or anything. It's just like there's <laughs> actually many tables inside. Okay. And I'm always like, why are there so many people outside? 
Weird. I think it's just people kind of working off the meal. I think it's people just hanging out. But it looks like Ugh. they're sitting waiting to be called. It's that kind of place. So then I walk up. I'm like, oh, there's probably a big wait. Hey, I've got like three. There's like four of us. I'm like, okay, all right, this way. I'm like, really? Oh. Why are there... 30 people outside, but they're I think chilling. they're just chilling. A uh, little natty plug. We're actually doing a Without a Recipe live special this year. <laughs> oh. We are doing chicken and waffles. <laughs> oh. And we have the head chef from Roscoe's coming to judge us. No pressure. Wow. It's so uh, cool. Okay. <laughs> so Where can we get tickets? I'm using this opportunity today to study. Of oh, Excellent. Yeah, I'm going to try to cheat and win. Oh. Nice. oh. I got a question. <laughs> Here we go, Miles. Please. You got it. Well, so, I mean, because we talked like, about throw this. Throw some, like, Britishisms as you do it. Well, oh. many, okay. but uh, <laughs> so you guys have obviously been eating on the internet for a long time. We talk about this all the time, but you've been eating online for a long time, et cetera. You've been doing all types of different things. What are you looking forward to, to dive into foods or, or experiences or styles of video that you've never even done? You fed the king. You fed David well. Beckham. <laughs> you fed the king. You <laughs> sucked yeah. the king's yeah. fingers. You sucked his oh, sausage fingers. You tasted those garden fingers. <laughs> and you smelled David Beckham so deep. <laughs> uh, but my question is, like, what uh, gets you psyched thinking about like the next couple of years of making stuff? Wow. Well, I mean... You know, we because we've been doing it for like 10 years. We're actually retiring. <laughs> we are, this is our final <laughs> podcast yeah. appearance. No, we, um, we've we just got to a point where we're like, we just want to do stuff that we enjoy. That's you know? so great. Like, like we, we want to pay the bills and have fun. And that's pretty much it. So, and that hasn't always, it hasn't always been that explicit of a motivation, but like increasingly that's just what we do. So that's, you know, part of the reason why we come out here and see you guys and see lots of people out here because we just really enjoy doing it. Mm. And, uh, you know, we're best friends in real life. We 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 live like 100 meters from each other pretty yeah. much. For those uh, we uh, hang out in all the, the time, US, so... that's 14 miles. <laughs> 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 and, um, yeah, so we just get to, you know, hang out like we do at home but on the road and try some yeah. of the, the world's best food. It's pretty great, not going to lie. I mean, we, we have got some exciting stuff coming up next year. We do, we do. I think, yeah, uh, it's interesting. I think uh, uh, the longer we do it, the more kind of ambitious projects we feel like we can we can handle. And, you know, last year, was it last year that we went? We took like a group of seven high schoolers, three of their teachers, and a whole crew to Korea to film for two weeks. Wow. That's oh my so God. fun. Like I bet those kids, that was like the Korea. fucking best experience of yeah, their yeah, lives. Yeah. It was crazy. I remember that really for crazy. as long as they lived. Yeah, well, yeah. Like, a couple of them had like never left the UK, like had sure. to get a passport. Yeah. And Can you take what? us awesome. to Korea? <laughs> <laughs> Can we come? Can you take, can you take us? <laughs> That'd be cool. Can you take me and my what mom? dress as high schoolers do? <laughs> <laughs> we we want to do videos in Korea. We'd like to go. We're just trying to figure out when we can. So maybe we can time yeah, we up our trip together. Oh, yeah. That would be really fun. Yeah. We'll have to do a podcast so I can go. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, we're going to need somebody who speaks Korean. Well, hey. Ooh, there you go. <laughs> We've got connections. Wow. We've got connections out there. Yeah, yeah. So doing ambitious stuff like that uh, feels more possible and is super fun. Mm -hmm. But then also like, Fitting that into the kind of weekly grind of like getting a video out every week on time is quite difficult. And so we've reached a point now where it's like, okay, well, we want to balance really ambitious stuff with, like what I said, just stuff that we find really fun and traveling mm -hmm. together, going places, showing up and just eating without loads of pre-planning. Uh, and so, yeah, we're kind of in the process right now of figuring out how to balance everything while keeping it all fun. Super mm -hmm. ambitious stuff with more sort of easygoing stuff and it's been a, yeah it's been a fun process yeah. did you have to manage the kids or like i guess the teachers did it but were you sometimes like hey you gotta go to time now or something I, like you're grounded <laughs> you're yeah grounded. i mean you're grounded. they're like you're not my you dad. two stop kissing <laughs> thankfully yeah. stop kissing when the cameras are rolling <laughs> stop it stop it <laughs> thankfully thankfully the teachers were there okay but the one thing you forget when you reach our, you know, ripe old age, I'm like, I'm 34, mm -hmm. you forget how much energy high schoolers yeah. have. Yeah. It's nonstop. It's insane. Uh, we're used to taking people to Korea and then we, I mean, we really go, I would say above and beyond, to, above and beyond to make sure they have a fun time. We do it, we're filming a lot. We're doing mm -hmm. lots of activities. We're eating a lot. 
normally when we stop filming, it's like, okay, let's go back to the hotel and chill. Mm-hmm. Maybe go for a drink. It's, it's, yeah, it's right. really chill. These guys, we, we finish filming. They're like, okay, what can we do next? Yeah. It's like 11 p.m. Like, can we, can we, can we go bowling? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Know, what, where yeah. can we go? And we we'd be like, cool stuff. time tomorrow is at 6 a.m. And they're like, Great. Okay. Okay. Yeah, awesome. yeah, like we have sweet. nine hours to bowl. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. When's the gym open till? Let's go yeah, to the gym. Seriously. Like, like three a.m. Like, they're all in the gym. Guys. Just like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it's absolutely just crazy. Uh, so that was an experience. Yeah. yeah. That was a real experience. It took but a while to recover from. It was fun. Yeah. It did. Yeah. It did. I needed to go home and just sleep for a bit yeah. afterwards. How long were you there with the kids? Two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, weeks. Yeah. And then, okay, so David Beckham, who, what other stars have you interviewed? Let's find a, a celebrity cheat-cheat. that we both have met. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ryan yeah, Reynolds. Mm, fuck. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what was he uh, like? Oh, he's, he's amazing. That really? Was, that was one yeah, of the most great. fun. Oh, wow. that was so, so, much so much fun. Yeah. yeah. Was we, he smart? Yeah. Yeah. Super oh, smart. so quick. He's, <laughs> no, but he's like crazy quick. So we took him. It was that was a random. Was one. he we, smart? Yeah. No. Was he <laughs> smart? As such what did he? A, he's like yeah. so successful. Yeah. What did was he, he get on his? Was he dumb as very witty. <laughs> no, how like, stupid funny. was he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we gave him a Sudoku and he solved it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. 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 Immediately. With his eyes closed. Yeah. Uh, he, he, what did he get on his lot. SATs? You guys ever take the ECTs? Yeah. No, Ryan. Okay. Now Ryan. Ryan Seacrest. No, no, not man. yet. Damn. The Avengers guys, the British ones, Tom Holland, Benedict <laughs> Cumberbatch, Tom Hiddleston. Uh, no. I don't know if I've ever met Benedict Cumberbatch. Ben Cumberbatch, you're on a first name basis? <laughs> no, I said Benedict. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I his, you his like, first name is still well, Benedict. Well, Ben Cumberbatch. <laughs> That's his name. Yeah. Ben Cumberbatch. Yeah. It's like, sure. wow, they went to high school together. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did accidentally call David Beckham Dave. And he, <gasps> yeah, which is, which is like crazy. I and I was like, like, "Oh crap! Can I can, can I call you Dave?" And he was, like, "Yeah, sure." He said, Ooh. "No," and you cut it out. He said, "Yes," which I was, uh, yeah, I was, uh, that's a defining said, moment in my life. Call me Davey. D- yeah, <laughs> Davey. Do, some Jones people, Beckham. Dave. do you think Victoria calls him Dave? Ooh. No. I wouldn't be surprised. No, I reckon. <laughs> no, no. Bex. Do you reckon R- she no. calls him Bex? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't yeah. want to speculate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. We don't Me want to, too. We don't want to talk too. about the royal family like that. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Next time I go international, I'm going to do it. I'm going to use Rosetta Stone because it's the best way to learn new languages. It is the most trusted language learning program available on desktop or as an app, and it truly immerses you in the language you want to learn. The time I went to Greece, everyone around was speaking Greek and I couldn't and I felt so left out. And I was like, man, I really wish I had spent a little bit of time before this trip to be able to talk because it just seemed to make people so delighted when you could say even a few little things to them. And I know that Rosetta Stone really does a great way of actually getting you to learn it, not just memorize phrases, but really learn the language. They're the trusted expert for 30 years with millions of users and 25 languages offered. And it has fast language acquisitions. It has a built-in true accent feature that gives you feedback on your pronunciation. It's very convenient and it's an amazing value. Don't put off learning that language. There's no better time than right now to get started. For a very limited time, our listeners can get Rosetta Stone's lifetime membership for 50% off. That's 50% off unlimited access to 25 language courses for the rest of your life. Redeem your 50% off at rosettastone.com slash tryguys today. <laughs> yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Never uh, mind. That was well. a trip. We actually had a, that was a great thing with, <laughs> with Arnold where we, we, the, firstly, because he's like an ex-governor, right? There's, it's just another level, another security. level of yeah. security. They shut down the whole hotel, oh. the Four Seasons. Totally. And then like we're filming in this bar and and then like before he comes, like a, guys come in with like mirrors to look under the, under the chairs Whoa. and everything. Super intense. He comes in and the plan was, often with these interviews, Josh is, Josh is giving them Korean food and about two thirds of the way through, I will have some kind of question that I will ask from behind the camera just to kind of throw them off balance. And it often leads to like a really like funny, nice interaction because they're like, oh, this isn't like a normal junket interview. Mm -hmm. So the plan was (laughs) I'm going to challenge him to an arm wrestle, right? But he comes in, you forget, like he's not a young man, (laughs) you know, and he's he's, 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 (laughs) old. So you think you, you beat him? him? You no. Go, I can fucking <laughs> take him. I, you I, beat Arnold in an arm wrestling was, I was like, I'm not 100% confident that he would win. And wow. you, come on, you, you, fly, me. Come on. you are pretty jacked. No, no, no. I, there was definitely a moment where it was like, 
I don't know if this is allowed. Yeah, right. It's like, yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 He's, you know, he's yeah. He, he's so, older. He's Arnie, so, but he's also older, and he's also you know he was like you said he was a governor. He's he's, he's the kind of transcended. Yeah. He's no longer bodybuilder. Arm wrestle yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. age. Yeah, you never transcend arm wrestle. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And okay. so the interview's going well, and uh, and he, he's it's, hilarious. You say it's going well. He's like the biggest alpha you can possibly Insane. imagine. <laughs> Insane. Normally, they sit. You know, we all sit down. Whoa. We start chatting. You know, I start introducing the food. We sit down, and immediately he's like, "Okay, so what's this?" And just starts shoveling stuff into his mouth. <laughs> wow. And I'm like, oh, oh, that's kimchi. He's like, what's kimchi? I'm like, oh, okay. No control. I completely have zero control of the situation. Yeah. And then halfway through, he's like, so you're going to do the introduction or something? And you're like, you literally haven't allowed us to say anything. And then, it is, anyway, so it's crazy, but it's great. And then I like finally pluck up the courage and I ask him for a staring contest. I'm like, Arnold, would you mind if we had a staring contest? And he goes, Oh, the little guy's gonna speak. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. So good. You like, put me right in my place. Now. And then he just stared into my soul. I think I lasted like two seconds. Not lost. I was like, Jesus. Ah. And as soon and as, as like, you, you blinked, blinked. Yeah. Yeah. you blinked again. <laughs> you blinked. <laughs> Uh, what an unbelievably stupid chapter why? in California history. Why did he was he our governor. Why did he do this interview? What was he trying to promote? <laughs> why, why did he do this? It was the, he was you, hungry. It was the, yeah. It was, uh, these guys are going to buy you some food. Okay. Feed me. okay. Feed me. I think it was the last Terminator film that he did. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it was him and Linda Hamilton, which yeah. was amazing. Yeah. Like the original yeah. flipping. I know, it was incredible. Oh, so cool. And she was like... Wait, she was next, there this whole time? Next yeah, to him, yeah. she was so sweet and so nice. So like the whole time, she's like, Arnold, let him speak. You know, like really like, really encouraging and like, yeah. you know, just like a, a, a nice auntie I at think the at table. one point she was like, you're doing great. Yeah, yeah. She, she, <laughs> she was like, just like so reassuring you. It was like even more emasculating. I know. You and know? I'm just there, just sweating. Wow. Uh, oh my God. But yeah. it was very fun. Yeah, they were awesome. That was great. Wow. Well, I know we're getting... Close to our, our time here before we need to head off to Roscoe's. Um, what uh, what do you, I guess, you've sort of spoken about like how you love doing something, just it's fun. What is, um, I don't know, something that you did once that you thought was going to go one way and it went terribly? <laughs> Tell oh, us about the bad wow. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> one little bad so story in the episode. Yeah, so one little many. downer. Yeah. <laughs> Little Tell me about your stuff. biggest personal disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's right. Okay, okay. About nothing. I mean, if if we're going downer, yeah. Do you ever question being in YouTube? Like, do you ever like? Are you ever like? Oh, I kind of think I should do something else. Oh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah. Oh yeah. All the time. That's usually. Yeah, I hate this. What you, other usually you when no. uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's staring yeah. directly into my soul. <laughs> oh, that was a highlight. A little that was a highlight. speaks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, I, that's a good question though because I because I was working in the charitable sector before there was mm-hmm. such like a yeah. tangible link to like right. doing good as it mm-hmm. were yeah and um and that that has been something over the years that that we have thought about and talked yeah. about like oh are we actually like putting good into the world mm-hmm. and and as you know that's not a simple question to answer either right. because it's not as simple as just trying to make content that that kind of is wholesome or yeah, you is know. not Keemstar, you know? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah right. Mm-hmm. It, but like, it, <laughs> please don't yeah. come off to yeah, me, okay. Keemstar. Yeah. He's scared. I can't, scared. Yeah. I can't yeah. imagine we're anywhere on his radar. <laughs> <laughs> um, it yeah, it's not as simple as that because it's like, are we we're contributing to this like social media ecosystem? Mm. Like, is that a net benefit? Like. Yeah. That's the those are the kind of questions that keep me up at night sometimes. I, I mean, your content can be as well intentioned, like as mm. good for the world as possible. Mm. But at the end of the day, we're just fodder for ads. Yeah, that's what we're doing here. Mm-hmm. Right? But you know, you I'm your content is very similar to what I do a lot of, mm-hmm. and I find that is this sense of companionship, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. it's you know I'm sure people are watch like people watch Eat the Menu while they're like doing laundry and doing chores, yeah, yeah, yeah. and <laughs> I'm sh- I don't want to say that your content is like that where they're half watching, but it is kind of <laughs> nice to like be a regular constant in someone's life mm-hmm, as definitely. a familiar voice and a familiar like a bit of positivity and I think people like seeing you guys try something mm-hmm. new especially if you try things so many times you've still just discovering it gives people this idea like yeah there's still stuff always always something new to discover 
Um, I bet so there are people who felt seen because you were, you know, bridging yeah. something about their yeah. culture to to yeah, others. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even yeah. the silly yeah, light think- stuff can have positive, deep impacts. Maybe not the same as actively working with a charity, but you never know who's watching your videos and what it's doing oh, for them. Oh, definitely. Mm-hmm. And ultimately, that's the conclusion we come to every time is, yeah. you know, it, I, it feels like this is worth it. It's worth doing. And, you know, whenever we forget that, we get these opportunities to read messages from people mm-hmm. that yeah, you know have right. told us the oh, yeah. the impact that it's had on their lives and it's that is really really humbling and i think also getting to travel like this as well with your oh, cool. friend and meeting new people mm-hmm. that like inspire and encourage and like that is really just such a privilege that we get to do this and you know, I feel like, you know, 10 years in, even more than ever, I'm just constantly like, how is this my job? This is, yeah. it's crazy. It's the best job in the world. Um, so there's, there's been down points and there's been difficulties along the journey, but I think ultimately we're just really grateful to be able to do this. Yeah, it's awesome. Oh yeah, well, thanks for coming on. Now it's time for you guys to watch this incredible segment that we do. Now you have a lot of stuff in the old UK, but one thing you don't have mm-hmm. is a man with advice. <laughs> this is advice <laughs> that'll go for miles with your host Miles Bonsignore. What Sorry, the? real quick. Um, mm-hmm. we also we do have a theme song. It's kind of I just want you to imagine like okay. a mm-hmm. punk rock. We can sing it for you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's advice that'll go, go for miles. miles. Mm-hmm. Tune into your radio station. It's, it's advice that'll go for miles. Everybody get ready, Miles Nation. <laughs> Guitar solo. <laughs> miles Nation. Go. It's advice that'll go for miles. <laughs> and then there's a little fill. It's advice that'll go for miles. What the fuck is up, Miles Nation? How's everybody doing tonight? Wow. Better now. Have you ever <laughs> been? Uh, I'm a little sleepy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have you ever been like? Well, actually, I don't have enough energy for the rest of the day. Mm. Reach same, queen. The same. Being <laughs> grumpy is canceled <gasps> for the winter, and being in is having a little n- nappy poo. Oh. Naps are back, bitch. Mm-hmm. That's right. Thank you. Thanks. It feels good. It feels good. Naps are back, and they're not just for Americans anymore. (laughs) That's right. Our friends from across the pond (laughs) have joined us to say that they also like to nap. Because a nap can be... Let me finish. A nap can be... (laughs) A napkin? A napkin? Keith, you're so funny. (laughs) <laughs> a nap can be a nice little way to microdose sleep. Mm-hmm. And I, for a long time, was a naysayer of naps, somebody who couldn't quite hang, somebody who couldn't <laughs> quite do it. But recently I realized that napping doesn't mean that you have to be asleep. You can be on your phone for 30 minutes laying down. <laughs> oh. It still counts? And it still counts, Buster. Okay. Yeah, I agree with I've that. been doing that. Where I say I'm gonna take a nap and I go be on my phone laying down. You're resting. You're taking a relax. Thanking. I'm taking a relax. A lay, rainy. Mm-hmm. A lay down. A lay down. I'm taking a siesta. So, uh, so working for yourself hasn't been going so hot. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been tough. <laughs> but I find that doing a little lay down has been helping me rejuvenate my body. Yeah. And ensnare the senses. I 100% agree. I was watching like 15 minutes of Dylan O'Brien TikToks for work today, and I felt way rejuvenated after. That's kind of like a nap <laughs> on the company for the company. Yeah, exactly. Well, if you, 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 if you can, Rainy lays down on the concrete and she <laughs> goes on her phone. I just find if you can, yeah, if you can get a little shut eye during the work day, <laughs> then mm-hmm. you're going to be clean and ready to go. For all that nice it kimchi. It feels like you just woke up in the morning, but yeah. at two. I actually can't even nap. Sometimes even I even close my eyes for uh, 60 seconds, and then I, I feel like I went to sleep and I wake up. You're a superhero. Can, can I co-sign this? I'll tell you that I had a, a busy, active weekend. It was Maggie's birthday weekend, right? Mm-hmm. So we were just social, like out, you know, mm-hmm. bars and restaurants, and one after another, uh, her family came over, did a little pickleball with friends. Mm-hmm. Uh, six o'clock. We, we find, or maybe whatever, seven, finish our dinner. And we're, we, we're walking back to our car <laughs> Sunday night. I just lied. <laughs> Six o'clock. Or, I don't fucking care. This story's not important. Maybe it was seven. Uh, uh, 
<laughs> and uh, Sunday night, and I go, hey, you ready to go back home and ignore each other for a few hours? And she said, I can't fucking wait. No, that's great. And we just yeah. scrolled and mm. scrolled and scrolled mm. until our brains fucking bled. Yeah. Okay. And it was good. <laughs> no, I agree with that. What's Thoughts? on your guys' TikTok? What's on our TikTok? Oh. Feeds. You guys have that oh. over there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we do have TikTok. I, the thing is, I, I took it off my phone. <gasps> Hey, you're Hell a soldier, yeah. you're a warrior. <laughs> okay. You're a I warrior and you're it, better because than us. Because okay. it was just taking up too much time. Yeah. yeah. It sucks you in. It sucks, yeah. it sucks you it in. It doesn't spit you out. It just keeps uh, you uh, in. It sucks uh, you in and it keeps you in. Yeah. Yeah. Little grip. Yeah. Yeah. You want more, you little shit pig? Yeah. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. More, more I would have called You want to watch more of this? <laughs> little shit pig. I do love Keith Lee, though. Keith yeah, he's cool. Yeah. 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 I like him a lot. He's, cool. yeah. he's my second favorite Keith. He's so chill. <laughs> this guy being one? After Urban. Yeah. Urban, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I just yeah. got caught up on nappy poo, which I've got to say in the UK, that means something very different. Yeah. yeah. What, what is that? You'd, you'd have to clean up after a nappy poo. Yeah. Um, nappy. A, a nappy, a nappy is, a, is a diaper. In it, it I means believe. you took it. Oh, a nappy poo. Yeah. Just, took a shit. Well, a nappy is is a like it's a what we call a diaper. Diaper. And a poo is a, a nappy. Poo. Okay. That, just, that one yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it, that was, yeah. it took it's me a while. It's more of a poo nappy rather than a pee nappy. That's interesting. What's a poo nappy in America? Well, a nappy is a poo. What? Sorry, what? No, a <laughs> diaper. Sorry, it was completely you broken down. Na- we okay. You call in the UK they call it yes. poo. Yes. A nappy. No, 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 a diaper. A, a diaper. nappy is a diaper. So when you said nappy poo, poo. and then get this, I was in, confused. The, in the UK they call poo, and I didn't post it. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> I got that part. Yeah, that's what nappy poo means. I feel I like I shouldn't have brought that up now. <laughs> but, no, because it helps. Okay, it helps. It, <laughs> helps, the, it, helps, it helps. It helps us understand listeners. one another. Yeah, it helps us understand. And that's what we sort of wanted: bridging the cultural <laughs> gap. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Very good. We're so not what so do you? Different. How do you feel about naps? Naps. I'm not great <laughs> at them either, mm-hmm. but I, I I like to you know close my eyes and just tease myself with the idea uh-huh. of a nap. Mm. Oh, yeah. it's like, like a little, you know, you're edging. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You beat me to it. On the edge of sleep. <laughs> On yeah. The, yeah, yeah. But you beat the, me to it. I, I can't switch my brain off, you know. And then when I do, it's a full shutdown. Yeah. I wake mm. up three hours later, oh, and yeah. I'm like. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. I'm covered in sweat for some reason. Oh, yeah. Why? You know, no, like, why do you sweat? Why are those deep Be naps so sweaty? I know, right? Probably yeah. because <gasps> they come after yeah. eating <laughs> loads of fast food. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. yeah. You know, I get that. that that's why you got to be on your phone. Ah, uh, I'm doing I it see. wrong. Because if you fall asleep for real, it could get too scary. And you get yes. up okay. Get if okay. I fall asleep in my clothes for two hours, I will wake up sweating. But if I were just living for those two hours, I wouldn't have produced sweat. Yeah, your, and body, you're moving. your body's weird. You're moving, right? If you're awake, you're moving. Whereas if you're sleeping, you're still. Why are you sweating? What am I doing? I think doing? it's because your body temperature goes extra, you know, mm-hmm. loco. That's right. <laughs> We're a science pod. We, please don't take any of our science. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's all here That's so. someone who's been on my TikTok feed recently, the POV explaining science things while dancing guy. Have you guys seen that guy? No, that no. Oh, awesome. I can't wait to watch it. Like Hank Green plus ballroom <laughs> dancing? <laughs> yeah. Well, Let's what ballroom. Kind of, what kind of dancing? Hot? It's like, no, no. It's like Charlie D'Amelio and Hank Green. Uh, yeah, yeah. Kind yeah. Of, kind of. We'll take it. Have you seen? With a bit of Bill Nye thrown in. Have okay. you guys seen Once I Make My Move? Oh, dear oh. Lord. The Queen Will Take Me. <laughs> that is now yeah. going to be in my head for the yeah. next week. That's so okay, good. awesome because I'm going to talk about it exclusively <laughs> okay. in your video. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, thank right. you guys so much for joining us. It's a pleasure to have you on the show. Thanks Make sure you check out Korean Englishman and Jolly. Mm-hmm. Do you have more channels than that or just those two? Uh, just that's it for now. That's, that's, that's plenty. <laughs> that's plenty. Make sure you guys have great, fun content. If you like watching me eat, you'll like watching them even more <laughs> <laughs> Keith hit us with the official Tribud theme song oh golly 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 we had so much fun with Jolly the tripod Woo! have a good yeah. ass week everybody yeah. Yeah. Yeah.